We've known for some time now that Attorney General Jeff Sessions had meetings with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak, but we've never really felt like we've gotten to the bottom of what happened in those meetings, and we have a new piece of that puzzle now. There's intelligence on Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak's account of those meetings, which contradicts some of the Attorney General's descriptions of what occurred in major ways. We have officials telling us that the intelligence indicates that Kislyak was reporting having substantive talks with Sessions on important campaign-related issues of policy toward Moscow, what Russia could expect from a Trump administration. Kislyak is also describing at length a discussion he had with Jeff Sessions in April at an event at the Mayflower Hotel where Trump was delivering his big first foreign policy speech as a candidate. And Sessions has always denied that that conversation even took place. I never had meetings with Russian operatives or Russian intermediaries about the Trump campaign. So now we have sort of the other side's version of this events, and it's hard to reconcile these two things. The new information on Sessions comes from an imperfect source. So this is the Russian ambassador basically calling his bosses. So this is just one Russian's word to other Russians. That's different than in other cases we've seen, including the intelligence that led to the departure of former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. This is a Russian ambassador's account back to the Kremlin. And therefore, you have to account for the possibility that he's exaggerating what happened in this meeting or mischaracterizing it. Trump appears at the moment to be looking for any excuse to push Jeff Sessions out of that job. And it looked like he attempted to do that this past week in an interview when he really lashed out at Sessions. I mean, this might be something that adds new, new damage to Sessions and puts new pressure on him and puts his job in greater peril.